Hello and welcome back to the next video in the mini tutorial series. And in this I'm going to show you how to save your work for a Mac. Caroline's already done it for Windows, so it's Mac's time now. There's not a lot of difference between them. Probably the main difference is what it looks like. And I'm going to show you how to save them in you work in three formats. It's the SVG format, the PNG format and the PDF. Each have their own usefulness and I'll explain as we go along how the best way to use them. So we'll get rid of that now and we'll come to our business card which we're going to save. Before we do anything, we need to put the box round it because I always take that off when I'm working. Let's move it out of the way into the middle. So it's file and it's in document properties and down here it says show page border. It's the page that we're putting in. So you click on that and can you see it's come behind it. Well, I want to put it to the page to drawing or selection and there's the selection. Click there and it's gone round it and the sizing of the page should be the same as the business card which if you can see here width there and height there and it's the same there. Done. Close. The reason I do that is if you want to see a picture in the preview window in your document then this is what you need to do without putting the box around you don't see a picture. The first format we're going to save it in is SVG and that is specific to Inkscape. It's the vector saving. I would strongly recommend that any work that you create your first saving is SVG and it would be your master. Save another copy as well just in case but with SVG you can close it down and then you can come back and work on it, make some changes, change the colour, whatever you want to do to it um, and save it again as SVG. So what do we do? We go up to file and you can either save or save as. I always save as because what I want to do is to ensure I don't save over an original and the best way to do that is to save as because you're giving it another name. So the pane comes up here and this is showing you where it thinks you want to put it and it's usually default to the previous one that you've put it in. The name, let's give it business card and what I really draw your attention to is down here. If you've saved it in something else then that will come back so what you need to do is to go in and just click on Inkscape and then it automatically puts the SVG up there. If you don't it will save it in whatever's there and click Save. And let's just have a quick look and there it is and you can see the little icon up there. If we do that, there it is. So that's SVG. The next one is we're going to save it in as a PNG and the reason we do that is because PNG preserves the transparency so it won't put a white square around it. Also Inkscape does not save up to a JPEG. The interesting thing about PNG is we don't do a save or a save as, we export it and I don't know why but they're basically the same thing. So export and again you've got the sizing up here and dots per inch and if you're using it for the web then that's fine. You need to browse and it will do the same thing as it did before, we're going to put it in this one. In this instance you actually put the format ending yourself. There isn't a button here to press. So let me just put two just in case because there was one there. And if that's where you want it, press save 
and the most important bit now is press export and it quickly goes across like that and you can come out of it if you think you've saved a file and you come back to use it and it isn't there I guarantee that you forgot to press export we all do it and you don't do it very often you start to remember the third way we're going to save uh, our work is in the PDF format the great thing about PDF is it preserves the vector qualities so that you could actually save it as a very small image and when you bring it into a document and you increase the size you won't have any pixelation and what I mean by that is all the lines remain smooth and particularly the text looks nice and crisp also PDFs preserve the transparent background so say you've created a logo like the Olympic rings and you want to put that logo onto another background that background will come through it there won't be a horrible white one that there would be with a J JPEG so again how do we do it well it's file and again I say save as same place uh, but this time we go down and change it here and it's portable document format PDF and I'll put business card 3 because obviously I've got two and we'll save it there just very quickly uh, the boxes here converts text to paths tick that because that will preserve the nice smooth lines keep it at, at 90 and that's all you need to do uh, PDF I think that's only the it's the latest version so leave it at 1.5 and just click OK and that's how you save your work in Inkscape well we've now finished the end of our mini tutorial series hopefully by now you you are up and running and you have created uh, some work We'd love to see it and also we'd love to hear from you so come over to our Facebook page the address is below and you can also email us at sisters at usefulgraphicdesigntutorials.com It's been good talking to you and speak to you again. Bye bye.